When asked to name the three most visited cities in Europe, most people could name two of them readily, Paris and London. But what about number three? Would it be Rome? Amsterdam? No. The third most visited city in Europe is Istanbul, a sprawling metropolis that's bigger than London, Paris, and Rome put together. In today's five-minute port tour, we're going to quickly describe what you can see and why you should go there. Istanbul is an exciting destination for multiple reasons. It's one of the only cities in the world that's divided between two continents, Asia and Europe. Under the name Constantinople, it was the western capital of the Roman Empire. Then, it became the center of the Ottoman Empire. And the remnants of that mysterious heritage are everywhere. The population is almost completely Muslim, and calls to prayer ring out every day from upwards of 3,000 mosques within the city. The so-called Blue Mosque and Hagia Sophia are two of the most beautiful and famous religious structures anywhere. The Grand Bazaar is one of the largest and oldest covered bazaars in the world. You will not lack for things to see in Istanbul that you will not see in other places. Due to a very unusual set of circumstances, it took my wife and I three different ties, tries on three different cruise lines spanning seven different years before we finally made it to Istanbul. It was a combination of an attempted coup, um, COVID, and other issues. It was worth the wait. Many cruise ships stop overnight in Istanbul, allowing part of two days to tour the city. That would be very helpful. But our Norwegian cruise was only there for one day. So to try to make the best of that day, we chose not to take a large bus tour, but found a private guide, which we booked through Viator. Um, it was a fantastic experience, and I'll leave contact information for our guide in the comments below. Even though Istanbul is a huge city, uh, the primary tourist attractions are concentrated in one area and are easily accessible by walking, uh, facilitated by uh, some short tram rides. Disembarking the ship, we walked the short distance to the tram stop where our guide met us. Speaking excellent English, he led us through all of the major sites, letting us decide which ones were most important to us and where we wanted to spend our time. He bought all of our tickets. He was very attentive. My wife had injured her foot just before we left and so couldn't walk for long periods. So on at least three occasions, he chose safe spots for her to sit while we took slightly more in-depth explorations nearby. We didn't see several things that we would like to have experienced. The Grand Bazaar is closed on Sundays, which is the day we were there. But we were able to go to the Egyptian spice market instead. It was a nice substitute. We found Turkish Delight at a Rick Steves uh, indoor store. The line to Hagia Sophia was a one to two hour wait. So limited as we were for time, we had to settle for outside photos. The Blue Mosque is under renovation inside, uh, so much of the spectacular interior was hidden behind scaffolding, but the experience was still very memorable. The other two main sites of the city were the underground cisterns, which are spectacularly beautiful, and the Topkapi Palace, which is vastly different from westernized castles and has a very Arabian Nights feel. Here are the few of the sites that can be seen within the palace. It was not high on our list of must-see sites, but I'm very glad I went. The private guide service cost us less than a crowded ship excursion, something like $75 each. While we prefer to wander on our own in many ports, I think a guide is very helpful for a first-time visit to Istanbul. Uh, you'd also do well to pay attention to the tour dates because different sites are closed on different days. We still hope to return to Istanbul to pick up things that we missed, including a trip to the Asian side of town if possible. By the way, pay attention to the times of the sail in and sail away. 
both were beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this review of Istanbul. If you appreciate this content, please remember to like and subscribe. You also may appreciate this other 5-minute port review. Until next time, safe travels.